Hello everyone, welcome to Hippo Dairy. My name is Lingam. Thank you for watching this video. This is going to be a multiple part series where we will see how to create an user control which is uh, to be exact a pagination or a navigation user control and we will see how we can use it in inside our uh, WPF client. In this video we will be seeing how we can create a pagination control you see something nice at the bottom this is uh, some kind of a control which you might have been seeing frequently in different applications in your windows form in websites but doing the same or creating the same in wpf is a little bit hard so we are going to spend some time in this video to see how we can build this from scratch and see how it works so what does it do when you have a list of items you go front you come back and then you change the pages and then you set the number of items per page so this kind of control we are going to see how we can create that in WPF using MVVO and the best part about this is the basic control is going to be an individual control which means that it's uh, it can be in a DLL library and you can use this control in different places inside your application we will see the structure of the course it's a seven part module and each module will have four different sections starting with introduction so we will just give a quick introduction about what we are going to see in that particular video or particular module and then after the introduction we will start looking into the actual explanation of the code and the methods and the implementations and after these two are done we will do a recap a quick recap if you feel that the course is too long most of the cores are uh, tried to be kept at a minimal length so it's like uh, between 15 to 20 minutes so but there are courses which goes beyond 30 minutes so in case you feel you want to go back to your course and then see what has happened in the whole course you don't need to go through the whole explanation you can go to the recap part and see what has been learned in that particular video and after the recap you will see what you are going to learn in the next video so that uh, you can decide whether to you need to continue with that particular module or you can want to skip that next module so this is the structure of the course through this is followed throughout the series it's going to be a seven part series and uh, going forward we will take a uh, one step at a time we will see how we can create a model to hold the properties and then a view and then a view model to bind them all together and then we will also add some basic logic uh, that changes the pages and finally once our user control is ready we will take that user control and consume it inside a windows uh, the presentation foundation wp of client we will also explain about some uh, important and nice tips and tricks here and there and we will also uh, go in depth to compare different types different methods so even though this is for building one single user control you will have a whole lot of new idea when you finish this complete series so without further ado let's go ahead 